You're listening to the Liberty Talks Podcast with Michael Anderson. Today we have special guest Nicholas Beezer. We have to find a way to talk and have dialogue and be tolerant between other views. You have to have open dialogue, and that's where free speech is so important. Consent's a very important thing, and today in the Me Too movement, it's been very important because I think it's really opened up a lot of eyes. I think we should get away from this hookup culture and get back to relationships because when you have a relationship, you have that communication, you have that connection. If you committed sexual assault, it doesn't matter when it was, you should be held accountable for that. However, we have to make sure that we actually make sure they committed sexual assault and we have to make sure that all allegations are verified. So put in these programs thinking that it'll help everyone, but what they forget is that the pathway to hell is paved with good intention. And I think that's what this whole movement is all about anyways, is uh, trying to be open to ideas. Hey, Nick, how are you doing? Doing well, Michael. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing since the uh, this election season? I don't know what you were doing exactly. Uh, I know you were with Young Americans for Liberty recording some stuff. So how did all that stuff go? Yeah, man, we were up in New Hampshire, 37 big victories for Young Americans for Liberty, which is awesome. Got a bunch of Liberty Warriors elected to state rep through the uh, Operation Win at the Door program. So we were up in New Hampshire live streaming uh, election coverage with Cliff Maloney and uh, the entire team in Young Americans for Liberty. It was awesome, man. It was awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, I, obviously, I used to work with Young Americans for Liberty, so I know they've been doing some awesome things, and uh, just wanted to hear a little bit about it. So, I want to start off this interview asking you how exactly you became a libertarian. Well, it's a pretty crazy story. You know, a lot of people come to the Liberty through literature and uh, ideas, philosophy. I, about four years ago, was sued by the state of Florida um, for a company that I owned. Got into the industry, didn't even really want to be in the industry, but, um, you know, just got got into it and, uh, you know, tried to, you know, ran the business um, in a very tough industry, but ran the business by using an outside company to do the marketing and, they ended up suing me for $10 million, and uh, it was all for the, what the other company was doing. So it was just – it was absolutely crazy, and it really rocked my worldview. I couldn't figure out – it just – it messed me up. So I tried to figure out why – how government can do this, how they can just destroy lives with no recourse unless you're you know, worth tens of millions of dollars. And I learned very valuable lessons. And in the environment that we live in right now, you can't fight the government because they always win. You hear about the few circumstances where the little man wins, but it's so rare. It's so seldom. And it it made me realize just how screwed up the system is and how much power they've acquired. And I had to do something about it. So my wife and I started Liberty Link Media Group, which is a production company to put a professional face to the Liberty movement and to kind of skip by, skip past so many of the things that I feel have really taken the Liberty movement, not down, but held us stagnant while socialism has gained so much popularity. And I think that that's because that unfortunately they've rebranded socialism. The, the authoritarians have, have rebranded socialism so well And we continue to, you know, use the same lines, the same nonsense, the same, uh, you know, belittling people for not being smart enough, for not being libertarian enough, and just echo chamber nonsense all the time. And as I've gotten to know a lot of people in the movement, I understand why, because it's just unfortunately that seems to be uh, a common quality, this hyper-focus on the issues or what's wrong with government without any real solutions. And on top of it, this this inability, uh, Austin Peterson says it really well, this lack of empathy that exists. And it just, unfortunately, it, I think, is hurting us in so many ways. And the socialists, they, 
hey, free stuff, so to the, you know, being social, being cool, helping each other, uh, charity, they, they rebrand, they like it, all the stuff that we all know socialism is not socialism, which inevitably leads to communism, is was responsible for 100 million deaths in the 20th century. We know that, but they they do a great job with their branding, and we need to do better, you know? No, you're totally right. I mean, I didn't want to get this deep into, like, the libertarian stuff right off the bat, but, I mean, you since bringing it up, I mean, uh, it was... I think you're totally right. I think a, a big difference between a lot of, like, the hardcore philosophical libertarians or ANCAPs is that they're focusing on... Um, the movement and the message rather than a political movement, right? Like, I feel like if you're going to be a part of the LP or, you know, uh, a lot of people think being a part of the Republican Party or do, being independent is better if you're going to run politically, right? If you're trying to get something done politically, uh, maybe some people think, you know, the Libertarian Party is not the best outlet or that, like, ANCAPs and hardcore libertarians have a problem getting things done because of their lack of empathy and they and their messaging i i i actually you know totally agree and uh, i i think that we have to get past let me be clear let me let me be clear about it it's not just political parties because i you know i see liberty republicans struggle in the same way you know one of the best messengers for the principles of liberty in my opinion is nick freitas uh in virginia and Unfortunately, it's just the the authoritarians have such a lock on the 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 voting public. Unfortunately, they've gotten to the point where you know Corey Stewart, Corey Stewart can be, beat Nick Freitas in the primary. That's crazy. That's crazy. And it's just because you know you've got these two factions. You've got the 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 MAGA crew, which Stewart was part of. And then you've got the socialists and, you know, the, the people who are freedom minded, the people who who truly understand the principles of liberty, unfortunately, are just we're losing, losing the battle of ideas right now. Yeah, no, I hear you. And what, what do you think is the solution to that? Um, I, I, you know, I, I say it all the time and, and people call me biased, people call me, but there's a reason that I took my talents and my 15 years of production knowledge and put it into the liberty movement. Not because I was looking for a new market or a new place to place my talents. It was because I I truly, truly, truly understand and believe in the principles of liberty because of a personal experience. And I feel extremely passionate about putting as much of a professional face to that brand as possible. And unless we can do that, unless we can increase our donor base by getting people to understand that there's an actual path to victory unless we can we can uh, deliver our message in a in a way that that 2018 can appreciate and doesn't just turn their back on and call itself as crazy people that's what we need to do I mean and that's through the power of media paid media leads to earned media um, and that is where you know that's that's where they're making their impact. That's where the socialists are making their impact is through the media. Take over, take over the take over pop culture, and we can get it back. You know, my friend Davy Wright tells me uh, all the time that one of the one of the biggest quotes that he loved by Ron Paul was that he said, "If you want to change the culture, you have to have music and young people." And I think that really speaks to what you're saying: is we have to affect the culture rather than just trying to say, okay, look, we have the right economic arguments and it works out on paper and we're right, you know? Yeah, but but, but uh, Cortez can go out and say that the reason that uh, unemployment is so low is because people are working two jobs 60 or 70 hours a week and make absolutely no sense. Or say that, you know, uh, environmental jobs are path to social justice in this country and people just they hear words that get them all excited and warm inside and start going nuts for it but it doesn't even make any sense but that's the point that we analyze everything to see how much things make sense when people just want to feel warm and fuzzy i get you and it it seems like what you're doing is actually working and and it and and it seems like what you're saying is like focus on media, whether it's paid or 
Earn Media. So tell me, what are you doing in Liberty Links Media, and what exactly is Liberty Links Media? Right. So Liberty Link is we are a production company for the movement. So whether that is um, companies, organizations, law firms that stand for liberty, freedom, the principles, um, and not only do we do a, a ton of activism um, through being libertarian and through our own social media pages, but we also produce content for Young Americans for Liberty, several liberty organizations we've done work for and candidates for liberty, and we're just continuing to expand it all the time. But the, the, the core principle behind it is, again, if you're going to, number one, if you're going to promote your brand at all, you should be working with an organization who not only understands the principles, but is vested and cares about the principles that's on your side. Number two, work with somebody who knows what they're doing. And we've got 25 combined years of experience doing what we do. And again, you know, we'd, we'd have more success if we could, if, if we could get together as a movement more, come together and understand that we're all better off when we're propping each other up and not trying to compete in an echo chamber the way that unfortunately we do right now. We're just going to, again, we're going to lose, but I am, I'm strong. I'm very confident that we can take it back. And the way we're going to do it is through organizations like Young Americans for Liberty and Operation Win at the Door, not caring about party, not caring about um, the, the letter next to their name, caring about the principles that they stand for, and making sure that we deliver it. If we're running in a blue district, like Matt Dubin was in Seattle, if we're running in a blue district, don't, don't compromise your principles, but make sure that you run a campaign that is consistent with a blue district. The same goes for the red, for red and, and, and the same goes for purple. When you're in a district that's 50 50 split down the middle, run a message that is anti socialist, anti mag, just, just freedom, you know? No, that makes that makes a ton of sense. So you you mentioned a few people that you worked with, like Austin Peterson and Matt Dubin. Who who are some other people and organizations that you've worked with through Liberty Links Media? Sure, uh, Amer- um, Americans for Prosperity, Young Americans for Liberty, Generation Opportunity Institute, Larry Sharp uh, for his gubernatorial campaign in New York, Dale Kearns in Pennsylvania, Mark Tippett in Texas uh, for gubernatorial candidates in Texas. Uh, Matt Dubin, again, in Seattle, Austin Peterson uh, in Missouri. We have uh, done work for Roads to Freedom Foundation, uh, which does the unconvention every year. Um, hopefully doing some content for Freedom Fest this year. We're just, you know, all over the place and continuing to, we, we just want to make, we, we don't, everybody needs to know that if you're going to be putting content out for your brand, make sure you do it right. Make sure you, you put that. For, and even if you're not using us, just figure out how to do it. Hire somebody. Hire a consultant. It makes everybody look better. It elevates the brand of liberty. You're listening to Liberty Talks Podcast with Michael Anderson and John Douglas. Follow us on Twitter at Michael, the number four, Freedom. And at Real John Douglas. Subscribe and listen to the show on Spreaker, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Liberty Talks Podcast is brought to you by all of our musician contributors and musical producers, including Shamari and Jarrell Beats. What is the value of this documentation, these these videos, these films that you make on the on the individuals and organizations that you work with? Well, listen, man, I mean, if you're not documenting it, did it ever really happen? I mean, that's the bottom line, right? That's what we say all the time. If you don't have something to take to people and say, look what we're doing, look at look at the success that we're having, to increase that. That's what I said before. We're we don't have the donor base right now. That the authoritarian side. That's the bottom line. I mean, when it comes right down to it, it's how many people are putting in to any particular ideology or brain. How many people are, are contributing to it? And we don't have that base that the socialists have. And the only way that we're going to increase that base is by showing people what we're doing and our path to victory. And the way that we show them our path to victory is by documenting, period. 
Well, hey, Nick, I appreciate you hopping on the Liberty Talks podcast with me tonight. I know you got to go, but I appreciate the quick interview and you coming on and talking to us about the state of the Liberty Movement tonight. Absolutely, man. Hey, and good luck with uh, the podcast. I'm looking forward to seeing it grow, man. And that was it tonight. You're listening to Liberty Talks Podcast with Michael Anderson and John Douglas. Tonight, we had special guest Nicholas Beezer. You can find Nicholas Beezer on Twitter at Nicholas underscore Beezer. Nicholas Beezer is from Being Libertarian, The Daily Headlines, and from Liberty Links Media Group. Thank you for listening to this special episode of Liberty Talks Podcast tonight. And a big shout out to my boy Franco Luciano for this dope beat at the end of the podcast.